using binomial theorem, we are going to expand 2x minus 3y all to the power of 3. The coefficient of the first term will be 3 combination 0. And the coefficient of the second term will be 3 combination 1. The coefficient of the third term will be 3 combination 2. The coefficient of the fourth term will be 3 combination 3. Once the superscript and the subscript are the same, I will stop. Here we have 3 combination 3. If we have 5 here, I will stop at 5 combination 5. If I have 2 here, I will stop at 2 combination 2. If I have 4 here, I will stop at 4 combination 4. I have 3 at the power, so I'm going to stop at 3 combination 3. Next, inside the bracket, the first variable is 2x. So I'm going to write this for each of the terms, 2x, 2x. Next, this 2x, you're going to put both in a bracket. Next, inside the bracket, the next variable is minus 3y. I will do the same for each of the terms, minus 3y. Likewise, I will put both in a bracket. Next, for the 2x, which is the first variable inside this bracket, I will start with 3. And I will decrease to 2, 1, and 0. And for the next variable inside the bracket, I will start with 0. I will increase 1, 2, 3. If I solve each of these terms and I add them up, that becomes the answer to this expansion. Next, you're going to solve for the coefficient of each of the terms. 3 combination 0, 3 combination 1, 3 combination 2, and 3 combination 3. Either using your calculator or using the combination formula or using the Pascal triangle. If you are going to use your calculator for 3 combination 0, you are going to type 3, then shift divide, that is second function divide. C will appear on your calculator. Then you're going to type or press zero. Then you're going to press the equal sign and your answer will be one. For the next term, you're going to change this zero to three combination one on your calculator and you're going to get three. For the next one, on your calculator, you have 3 combination 2, and you're going to get 3. Then for this last one, 3 combination 3 on your calculator will give you 1. Alternatively, if you do not want to use your calculator, you can use N 
combination R is N factorial over N minus R factorial R factorial. You can use this formula to solve for each of these coefficients. For example, if we want to use it for 3 combination 1, hence we are going to have 3 factorial all over 3 minus 1 factorial 1 factorial. And this will give us 3 times 2 times 1. That is for the numerator. And for the denominator, we're going to have 2 factorial times 1 factorial. This is 2 times 1. It will cancel 2 times 1. 1 factorial is 1. And 3 divided by 1 will give you 3, which corresponds to what we got using your calculator. Alternatively, the third method can be using Pascal triangle. We're going to have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1, 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, we end with 1. We start with 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, we end with 1. We can have 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, we end with 1. You see, we are forming a triangle. Because the highest power here is 3, we are going to choose just only this. 3 combination 0 is 1. 3 combination 1 is 3. 3 combination 2 is 3. 3 combination 3 is 1. You can see that to find the coefficient of each of the terms, you can use your calculator or you can use the combination formula or you can use the Pascal triangle. Next, each of these are multiplying. So here we are going to have multiplication. Next, remember that if we have a, b in bracket to the power of n in mathematics, this is a to the power of n and b to the power of n. For example, if we have 2x all to the power of 3, this is 2 to the power of 3, x to the power of 3, and this is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8x to the power of 3. We're going to apply this rule to each of these terms enclosed in the bracket having powers or index on each next this will become 2 to the power of 3 x to the power of 3 and this is multiplying minus 3y is enclosed in a bracket with zero at the index. Anything to the power of zero is one. Next, this two will be two to the power of two 
and here you are going to have x to the power of 2. Next, this is multiplying. Next, this is minus 3 to the power of 1 and y to the power of 1. Next, this is 2 to the power of 1, x to the power of 1. Next, and this is multiplying. Next, this is minus 3 to the power of 2 and this is y to the power of 2. Next, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Next, this is multiplying. Next, this is minus 3 in bracket to the power of 3 and you have y to the power of 3. Next, we're going to simplify each of the terms further. Next, this is 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2. And you're going to get 8. 8 times 1 times 1 will return 8. And here we have x to the power of 3. This will become the answer for the first term. Next, 3 multiply by 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 multiply minus 3. You're going to get minus 36. Next, you have x squared here. And here you have only one y remaining. Next, here we have minus 3 enclosed in a bracket squared. Minus 3 multiply minus 3. That's the meaning of this squared at the top. You're going to get 9. 9 multiply by 2. You're going to get 18. 18 multiply by 3. You're going to get 54. Next, you have x here. And here we have y to the power of 2. Next, you have minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3. That is minus 3, 3 times. You're going to get minus 27. And here we have y to the power of 3. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 multiply all this, all this will return. Each of these is the answer to each of these terms. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put all this together in one line. The first one is 8x to the power of 3. The next term is minus 36 x squared y. The next one is plus 54 x y squared and the last one is minus 27 y to the power of 3. If you expand this bracket to the power of 3, you are going to get this answer as your expansion. Try to expand this bracket three times and multiply every times out this will become your final answer but using the binomial theorem the expansion becomes easy because if we have here to the power of 8 and you 
we need to expand this bracket eight times. In trying to expand all the brackets, there could be possible mistakes. But using this method of binomial, it is possible to get the accurate result.